Let's Talk Telecommunications, the messaging app WhatsApp is back after millions of users of the social media platform were unable to send and receive messages. Nigerians and other users of the instant communication app owned by Meta had reported that they were unable to either receive or send messages. A check indicated that users could not send messages to groups, while personal messages only showed one tick, which means that such messages were not delivered to the recipient. The WhatsApp status feature did not also function. This was not the first time the messaging app and other social media platforms would crash. In April, WhatsApp users in the US, Brazil, Paris, Spain, and Costa Rica reported that the app was down.